morning, everyone. Happy Monday to you. I have kind of a busy day today, and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Um, if you didn't catch my live last week, I was talking about having some GI issues, and I have my first appointment at the GI doctor today. So basically, I think it's just going to be a consultation and kind of make an action plan for what I assume is going to end up being a colonoscopy. And I think it's really important to talk about matters of the health. I'm a young woman. I'm 36 years old. And, you know, I think a lot of times we have a tendency to just kind of put our health off because we're young, we're fine, you know, there's nothing wrong. But the reality is there could be something wrong. It could be nothing. But I am doing my due diligence to make sure that my health is on the up and up. So when I'm done at this appointment, I'm going to go meet up with my friend Rebecca, who is one of my very old friends from when I was in the cosmetics life. Rebecca is getting ready to start a YouTube channel that is based around, how can I put this? real moms and beauty. So obviously we all love makeup. That's how we knew each other in the first place. But she's going to be starting a channel that is basically beauty stuff for real moms. So none of these makeup looks that take 45 minutes and 900 products. She's got two little kids. She's an incredible mother. Very funny very fun. But she had reached out to me a few weeks ago and had some questions just about YouTube. So we're going to use that as an opportunity to score a lunch date. And I cannot wait to see her. You guys are going to love her. She's just such a, a light. She really is. Like one of the funniest people that I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. So I'm a little nervous. You know, the doctor makes me nervous no matter what it's for, even if it's just for a checkup, and I've never been to a GI, GI doctor before, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm going for it. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I love you all. I hope you had an amazing weekend, and I hope that we have a great day today. See you in a little. Hey, everyone. So the day got away from me. Rebecca and I sat and talked for like three hours and change and it was amazing. I gave her a bunch of new tips for starting her YouTube channel, which eventually I'm going to share with you guys as well because I get that question a whole lot. Doctor's appointment. So I have to have a colonoscopy next week. I'm definitely nervous. I know that in the grand scheme of medical procedures that it's no big deal and it'll be easy and all of that, but I haven't been I haven't really had very many procedures done in my lifetime, so getting put out always makes me really nervous. But I'm gonna go through with it. So that's what I'm doing next Thursday. So for tonight, I'm not gonna show you guys a big elaborate dinner because we're just doing something with pre-cooked chicken. I don't know exactly what yet, but while I try to figure it out, I am going to make these puppies and give you guys a taste review. We're dying to try them. I'm sure you're dying to know what you think or what we think. I'm a little tired, it's been a long day. Um, let's see. Package directions call for coconut oil, water, and eggs. Super easy. So we're gonna whip up these bad boys and get them in the oven, and I'm gonna put the kids in a bath. What happened? I need some more. Oh, you need some more? <laughs> I'm gonna go mom it up. I'll show you guys how to make these brownies, and then we'll give them a try. Okay, everybody, this could not possibly be easier, so I'm really hoping that they are delicious. I went ahead and I greased an 8x8 eight eight pan, and I preheated my oven to 325 degrees. Then, ooh, it smells good, one pouch of the Lakanto monk fruit brownie mix, two eggs, you can really smell the monk fruit. Definitely smells sweet. Then we're also going to add a teaspoon of water. Teaspoon of water. And then half a cup of melted butter. It says you can use melted coconut oil or any oil of your choice. I happen to think that brownies are best with butter, so that's what I am using. I'm going to stir this all together until it's completely mixed up and then I'm actually going to add a few Lily's chocolate chips because I have them on hand.
Okay, so I've got that all mixed up. It looks really glossy and uh, pretty. I'm gonna add, let's call it just over a quarter cup of chocolate chips. Stir again, and then we'll get it into the pan. Okay, so now brownie mix goes into an greased eight by eight pan. Then we're gonna bake it. All right guys, these are going in the oven. We will see them in about 25 minutes. Okay, my oven is super hot, so mine did not require the full 25 minutes of cooking time. Mine only needed about 22 minutes. They smell like brownies, and I'm excited. Okay, so the brownies are done and I'm trying like crazy not to cut into them until Dan is ready to taste them. It occurred to me that I could actually make this a what I eat in a day video because I haven't eaten very much today and we're about to throw together some chicken for dinner. So here's what I'm thinking. I didn't take footage at lunch today, but I did take a photo of my salad. I posted that on Instagram, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert a photo of that now so you can see the beautiful Cobb salad that I got at 2J's today. If you have a 2J's deli, they have so many keto options. I had a really hard time deciding on what to eat because there it was limitless there was tuna egg salad you can get it on a plate with pickles and I don't know I if you have a 2J's I highly recommend it the hardest thing about 2J's is that their desserts are the greatest so you have to have like a mental health slap in the face talk in the bathroom to not order dessert but there are menu rules so let me show you what I ate for lunch and then we'll get dinner rolling <laughs> I just talked for two sentences without pressing record. <laughs> so we're going to do these brownies for dessert later, but I'm chomping at the bit just to give them a little taste test. So I am going to do that. Ooh, oh, they stuck a little bit. I didn't spray them enough. No Pro greasies. tip, spray them no enough. Greasy. I do this every time, even with normal brownies, but... Ooh, smell. Texture looks great. It looks like a brownie. Like mm -hmm. I said, I you added like a, a little bit of Lily's chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this corner here because that's my, my favorite. <laughs> it's a brownie. It's a brownie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of you was telling me that you didn't like these. If you don't like monk fruit, cause monk fruit has a very specific flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't want to call it fruity and scare you, but it does have its own very specific flavor. And just like erythritol and all the other sweeteners, people's taste buds are different. So what we like, you might not like, but I'm here to tell you that this tastes like a real it's a brownie. brownie. It's a damn brownie. I used butter. Okay, it says you can use coconut oil. I used butter. I think that's the way to go. They are freaking delicious. They're expensive, but they're keto ginger approved because they are delicious. Like if I was really craving a brownie, I would buy these again. Yeah, definitely. So. It's gonna be hard to not eat the whole thing. It really is. We're gonna have What's to behave ourselves. Per? It's like three net carbs per brownie. All right. And this square pan is supposed to make 16 brownies. It's a little higher carb than I would normally like for a treat. But if you are craving a brownie, do it. Cause they are delicious. Yes. I might make a double batch next time because I'm a glutton for punishment. Dan's gonna go change the oil in my truck. I'm gonna figure out what the heck we're doing for dinner and I will show you. Yes, and I won't because nobody wants to see someone change oil. It's yeah, it's not fun at all. It's not fun. There's Has to be of, done. There's lots of cussing and, <laughs> you know. There's only so many hours in a day, so we have to be as productive as possible for all of them. I've been doing a lot of driving, so my truck is just dying for an oil change. So Dan's gonna do that really quick. In the and dark. In the 
dark. He's looking for sympathy. So if you could just uh, leave sympathy and prayers for Dan down below. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little. Sweet. Okay, I went ahead and jumped in the shower while Dan was finishing up with the car. We are doing chicken wraps for dinner. So I'm going to use my beloved carb counter wraps. And we're just gonna do chicken and cheese. I have yum yum sauce in the fridge. And basically anything that I can put this on makes me happy. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cauliflower rice on the side and I'm going to do it buffalo style. So I'll show you how to make that and I'm gonna get these wraps in the pan. It's like a 10 minute dinner. I love those. It doesn't happen often, but I'm gonna take advantage of it tonight. Okay, I'm steaming this cauliflower rice until it's cooked all the way through. And while the cauliflower is cooking, I'm gonna get started on the little tortilla wraps here. So butter into a hot pan. And then go ahead and throw your tortilla on. We're gonna add chicken and cheese. Oh. Once you've got your chicken and your cheese there, we're gonna go ahead and fold this over. I usually hold it with a spatula for a second until the cheese is melty, but it will stay like this pretty good. We'll brown it on one side and then we'll go ahead and flip it and it's done. Okay, it's done. And took just a couple minutes. When the cauliflower is steamed, go ahead and add a couple ounces of cream cheese. I'm adding a couple tablespoons of this Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. I usually prefer the one from the dollar store, but we're out of it. So just a little bit. Do this to your taste buds. If you don't like it too spicy, go easy with it. Okay, then about a tablespoon and a half of sour cream. I'm gonna stir this all together until it's nice and melty and creamy, and then we're gonna have like a buffalo cauliflower rice as our side dish. Ooh wee! Yum, right? Like it. All right, everybody. Here is our simple Monday night dinner: buffalo cauliflower rice, chicken tortillas with cheese, and some yum yum sauce. Easy peasy. So it's not much to look at, but really quick dinner and it has a lot of fat in it, which I'm dying for right now. I haven't eaten enough today to kind of fill that hunger. So <laughs> fat it is. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.